all right guys so welcome to the perfect plan and aboard the boat for neat pg 2023 as you know inict fever is over and now you have to you know all set for a bigger goal the neat pg 2023 now even if you are starting at this juncture because i have got so many queries ma'am what if i start now even if you start now you have sufficient time to get a decent score just listen to this plan follow it and you will see that how you know magic can occur in these 100 days now see how to divide these 100 days yeah we have divided this into 50 31 and 19 why not 50 30 and 20 oh wait and be there with me till the end of the video and you will get to know that how even one day matters now along with this you also have to see about the number of gts the grand tests are again very very important how many grand tests have to be given now here i am little aggressive about the grand test and i have been talking about the importance of these grand test in the classes and the orientation sessions that you have to be there on your toes when there is a point of grand test because you know grand tests are always a tool for preparation they are also a learning tool so we are going to give a test every week and we'll reutilize whole of that day in analyzing our test working on our um, weaknesses so that at the end we have the whole of the 20th notebook compiled with all of our mistakes and we already know what you have to do in those last 4 to 5 days because you know every time you do the revisions we always have this confusion what to do in those last days because you know you cannot revise each and everything in uh, you know just before going to exams and you have to plan your revisions in a pyramid way so you know i have been talking about this pyramid revision in my classes also that you know with each single revision the number of days that you get is going on less and less therefore it is of utmost importance that you keep on screening and filtering out the stuff that has to be actually overdone in the last revisions all right so let us see how to plan in the first 50 days i have about 7 weeks so 7 gts then the 4 weeks 4 gts and then roughly 3 weeks so 3 gts so total 7 plus 7 14 tests and whole amount of weakness strength analysis so let us see what i am going to ask for so for getting a decent score even if you are starting now even if you are feeling low you have a very basic level of preparation i know after this inict there is little of stress hustle in your minds what Uh, will be there uh, will i be able to make it or not my friends are uh, appearing much better than me at this juncture i am telling you just settle down don't think about all these things give me just these 100 days and the commitment of 10 efficient hours of study every day and i can promise you a decent score 50 days plan if you look at the first 50 days plan yeah you can see i have planned your revision in a quite interesting way we cannot study one subject you know regularly for 5 days and that to a dry subject so that is why i have planned it in a integrated manner clinical manner and that will help you in building the foundation of the clinical subject also like if you see i have combined anatomy and ortho basically you cannot read ortho with the anatomy if you talk about the ortho faculties i have talked to sir also and he is of the opinion that you cannot read orthopedics without the anatomy so we can divide this into 4 plus 1 similarly surgery and radio 4 plus 1 medicine and derma 4 plus 1 
patho and pharma four plus three so total of seven days because both are very very important both uh, will help you in reading the medicine right so when you are combining these days we are having five for medicine along with the skin then seven for patho and pharma now the total number of days have to be combined you can subtract from somewhere and you can add on somewhere if it is required similarly obg with the pediatrics four plus two by chemistry with psychiatry 3 plus 1 micro plus anesthesia 3 plus 1 why ma'am is not talking about ofta so yes ofta is definitely there though i am promising every day revision of ophthalmology on my daily quiz on telegram group just give me 10 minutes every day and you are going to uh, be ready with the ofta but still I have given you the decent number of days that is 2 for OFTA, 2 for ENT and 3 for PSM. So if you see this total makes 43 days. Now still we have the good 7 days in which you are going to give your grand test, you are going to analyze it and you are going to cover everything in this 20th notebook. Keep on noting it down. What are your weaknesses? Which topics to see again? Which questions to see again? Which things to see again? And you are there with this whole of the list, right? 31 days plan. Now how 30 31 days I have to complete the 19 subjects I have to give the grand test also so what I have done is that there are certain subjects which cannot be completed in one day so I have given two days okay and still if something is left we have one more revision left so we can acquire that in the third revision so it is anatomy pharma patho micro psm medicine surgery and gynae these are the eight subjects in which we are going to give the two days so eight into two this is going to make total 16 days now what about the remaining subjects we are left with so many subjects right so remaining apart from these eight you have got 10 more subjects i know you have 11 i am keeping off the separate so for the 10 subjects we will give the one day only so this is your 16 plus 10 26 days right now this is one day extra that i am keeping this one day extra is for the of the uh, actually i have kept it as plus minus because you have already revised of the thoroughly in the first 50 days daily quiz and again i am reminding you about these daily precious 10 minutes just revise a small topic topic of ophthalmology give the 10 questions uh, quiz in the evening and you are there but still we are keeping one day for this so we have got total of 27 days ah we were having 31 days we are having four good days for the grand test so if you do not want to um, give four grand tests you can even attempt the three grand tests or if you require one day extra for any subject you can even reduce the number of grand tests from four to three that is also sufficient and this 27 plus four together makes 31 days and again we have added the most important things in our 20th notebook right and then finally the 19 day program now in this 19 day what is going to be done we have divided again into three parts the long subjects the short subjects and the grand test so those subjects which were long and they required two days before now i am going to give one day now this one day may not be full of anatomy full of medicine full of gynae full of psm or surgery you can utilize it for those things which are most high yielding, which are volatile, which you left in the previous revisions. So good eight days and rest of the topics which required one day before now can be reduced to half a day. So that comes to about 8 plus 5, 13, right? It is 8 plus 5, 13. Now here again I have kept 
two extra days for Oftar. Now, why? Because previously in the first 50 days and in the 31 days, we had already revised ophthalmology in only 10-10 minutes, right? And ophthalmology is volatile. So it would be good that you revise the ophthalmology for one day or two day towards the last of your revision because those things which are learned later, revised later, tends to be remembered little higher for a longer duration. So it's a very good plan that for the first 50 days and then the 31 days, you are revising this ophthalmology in small bits, 10 minutes daily. But as you gear up towards the exam, give it one day, two day, whatever is required and read out whole of the ophthalmology. If you require for any other subject, again, you have got one day extra and you can cover up because you know, one day you don't feel like studying, one day you can be ill, anything. So we have that one day extra also. And then the golden five days, you know, golden five days, Keep on revising your Y booklet again and again. I cannot, you know, uh, tell you the importance of Y. Every student, uh, be it a DBMCI student or a non-DBMCI student, always accept that nothing is better than Y when it comes to crisp and concise revision of all the 19 subjects with the high yield topics, with the PVIQs, with the images. Oh, vibe is golden. And along with this, you have got your own 28th notebook. So, you know, one size does not fit all, but I have tried to make it, you know, flexible and stretchable. Like, you know, those clothes which are flexible and stretchable, they can fit to everyone. So, similar is this plan. And I know that when you are done, with this plan, definitely you are going to come up in flying colors, a decent score if you are starting now and you will be ready to give your best shot. So I hope this plan will work for you. If you have any queries or any doubts about your academic plan, your strategy plan, do uh, give me a message. You can do the direct message on me uh, on my Telegram group or uh, a message on uh, the social media. I am on Insta, Facebook, Telegram, you people already know the links are given in the uh, description box and do let me know that how is this plan working for you. Looking forward to see your plans and your comments in the feedback section. Thank you and happy ophthalmology.